Kia ora. Hi, I'm Che. Hardwired bonsai. This is a trident maple in its fourth year of growth. I'm just quickly working through a bunch of these. Actually, I'll leave that because they might get a bud off there, which would be quite useful. Let's see. Okay, so I'm looking at the bottom, the form. Kind of quite like the way it sits there. So I quite like that too. Yeah, my back arches around there. So here's better. Just broke that one, unfortunately. I decided to make these videos because I was thinking about when I first got into, into bonsai, I was kind of going, well, I mean, pretty much back then there was only books. There wasn't YouTube content or anything like that. But even a few years ago, there was hardly any YouTube content. And most people these days are still working on great big trees, which is really cool, but it's not very accessible for, well, people who haven't got a shitload of money or um, inherited a collection or are old men. <laughs> so, this is all about how to do it in the first few years, really. <clears throat> what decisions you need to make to create a nice tree. There's always a toss-up between having your tree nice now and having your tree nice in the future and generally if you compromise you're just going to get a compromise which is never a good thing this tree's got a lot going on I'm just going to pull some leaves out so I can look at the branches a bit more heaps of branches which is cool lots of choices so where does it look cool from? it looks cool from here really looking at the, at the root anyway which is really nice This will all fuse into a big, into a big kind of you know, nice Nabarian time. Lots of character. So what that means is I don't want this branch because it's going to poke me right in the face. I want to see my trunk. So I'll open it up a bit and then start looking at what branches I need. I actually need a branch down here, which I might be able to bring this one. Carefully bring that one around. This one's way too close above it. This is not a nice branch either. Um, I'm just going to chop it right back and see if it pushes anything else out further in. This is my new top. What I eventually want is a dome shaped top like this. So I have to make this grow in very small increments while this grows in slightly larger increments but I still can't use pieces that long because my next shoots will be way out here and it's just going to be well, ugly I mean it's okay but it's not going to never be a wonderful tree if you have only this big straight piece with no, nothing in it you really want more detail this will go for a larger scale These are little dainty trees. These are small ones. So right now it's looking pretty weird. Worst case scenario, I get a branch here. Or best case scenario. And I can chop that out. <coughs> Thinking about bringing it around, which I think I can do. It's kind of got an interesting bend there. Give it a go. Oops. So I want to bring it this way, so I need to have my wire coming this way. <coughs> Excuse me. Now 
which one is it? Well, it's gonna work. It's cool. We make an interesting branch. Usually I wouldn't be able to do that, but because it's got this funny little twist in the back here, it's going to do it without breaking. Cool. Leave the wire sticking out so I can see it, don't lose it. Wreck my tree. Here's an interesting piece to look at. This is what happens when you leave pieces in without coming back and you end up with a spurring kind of piece. Now, I want my top to be back here. Cool. Just check my focus and things. This one's, hmm, this is something else. Um, this root's never going to be pretty. Right, a very compact, very small tree. I think it was possibly... I don't know, it's not one of these, not, not one of the run, something else, it's an anomaly. Could be an older tree or a part of an older tree. Lost count, there's quite a few of them. Hmm. Trying to figure it out. Front of it is. It feels like it should be there somewhere. Our front comes, our top comes up back this way. It's not an easy one. It's kind of interesting. Okay, I've got. A, some branches in here and I've got a big straight one and I've got, got also got the option of a really nice small one with lots of movement it'll be quite brutal all right I'm gonna leave that and sort it out later so that could be all right if I get rid of that piece and that's my next branch and I get some more shoots here and then I take this as my second branch here do that So looking at the trunk, kind of looking for movement, shape, form, looking for my front. So there's my first branch on the right, so it's either here, come around to here, and that's my second branch. I kind of like that. This, this branch needs to come down. It's pretty straight there, but yeah, whatever. It'll be okay. <laughs> See, that's straight, and it'll always be straight, and there'll never have anything growing on it. If I bend it down, it'll, it'll change it a bit. Grab a branch. 
gut. Bring this one down as well. Now the top. Bring them back this way. There's another option for the top, I can take it right back to here, which brings the top forward toward me again, and then back away again, I can go, I can bring it here and then back in, or from here, so I'll go with that. Brutal. Yeah, it's okay. Well, I'm whipping through these in a bit of a hurry, you can probably tell, because I've got to get out and do a big fencing mission on the farm. I've just ordered fence posts, and um, yeah, probably do a few weeks of fencing next. So I'll get these done and I'll get them up, loaded up, and then I'll disappear. <laughs> so here I've got a little top and a big secondary branch, which I don't want, I don't want the top going over there, and there's nothing growing here, so I'm just going to kick it right out. This is also another nice branch. It's just too long as an internode. I mean, there's a branch, my next shoots will be out here, and I really want to slow that down, make it more delicate and more movement. Hmm, here's another anomaly. That'll be interesting. I think this is my front here. Just expose the trunk a bit so I can see see it. This branch is pretty coarse, pretty big. So it's gonna come out. So it's heading over that way. It'd be nice to bring it back again. Which might mean, yeah, maybe from here, I'll work on that one. So that's a nice little defined, quite nicely defined tree. It's got branches and good spots. Cool, oh, yeah, it's pretty. Really shorty. So the front. So it's got a big gnarly 
not on it. I've dropped off these, so it's okay. Here's my new, new, new two bottom branches. Um, I have to make sure this one doesn't grow out over top of this one's space. And this one at the back's too long, so I'll bring it back in. Hmm. So the next few are already in pots, which kind of means I thought they might be interesting enough shape to and, and um, developed enough to be saleable. <coughs> I mean, you can buy the other ones as well, as well if you want to, and you get the pleasure of creating your bonsai all the way. And and that's what the pleasure is, is actually doing what I'm doing right now. It's a shame to be speeding through it. But I've got to keep moving. <laughs> yeah, this is the fun bit. Creating the tree. Mm, I'll bring it down. So, front. So these ones I want to keep pretty. Um, if you want to buy some of these trees, you're looking at three to four hundred dollars. For the ones that aren't in bonzo pots, I mean these are just like three dollar plastic pots, there's no value in them. But these are the nicer ones, the ones that are in the, just the, um, in the nursery pots, um, yeah, around 300 bucks. And they're just going to get more and more expensive. Okay, this one's uh, lost <laughs> a big chunk, which I'm just going to leave it and see what develops around it. It'll be interesting. It's quite cool actually, I like that dead piece. So yeah, I think I probably probably when I repotted it I probably um gave it a bit of a hard time. As in rip brought its roots off and would have blasted it. That sort of thing. This one's a cute little root over rock. I'm liking that. Obviously needs to be fixed into the rock a little bit more. I'll just push some dirt under it maybe. That's quite a deep rock. But that's pretty. Yeah, nice. So front. It's kind of gotta be there, eh? That's just Gorgeous. So a very informal tree. I'll say it's all about the root and the trunk and oh, that's nice too actually. That's actually a better front from the point of view of the rest of the tree. So this one will actually be a really nice tree in no time at all. There's quite a bit going on here. I'll take that one there out. It's just too straight anyway. And then there's something in here too. Yeah, got it. And that one. <laughs> okay. Yep, that's all good. Here's the back of the tree, or potentially the front even. 
I don't know if this one ever will have a front and a back, it's just going to be a really nice tree all around. And you can choose on the day which side you want to look at. So here I've got a big long straight branch here, so it's coming straight out. The other option would be to bend it down in here, I don't think it needs it. So I've got this nice defined pad here. So it'll be defined as the roots, as the leaves get smaller, it'll be more defined. So right, left. Back and then the top. Beautiful. Well, it's got a very obvious front. Nice movement in the trunk. Very easy little prune. Just expose the trunk a bit more. The leaves are coming down really small on this one already. Check out the difference between the new, new shoots and these ones. It's come down by an area probably five times. <laughs> That's cool. Makes it so much more delicate. Okay. It's pretty, look at that, beautiful. Back's looking pretty nice. Find it a little bit more. So this tree is, well, this is a lot more than a $300 tree, that's for sure. Might take 450 Pretty cool, it's a little bit heavy here. Just have a quick look. Let's see what I can pull out of that piece. I can take this whole chunk out. There we go. Alright, it's lightened it right up. See, there's light through it all now. Um, it can stay there for now. No, I should take it out. There we go. Nice tree. Okay, this is the last one. Another little root over rock. One big root and three nice roots around here. So that looks much prettier than the one big root. So we'll call this our front. And we've got a lovely branch displaying to the front here. And we've got accidentally chop something off I don't want to chop off. Got a nice branch just coming down through the bottom here. So that's pretty sweet. And the top comes back toward me and over to back over here. That's okay. Take that one out then. around so if that's my top here then I don't really need all that heavy stuff in here but right now it's looking pretty nice so I don't want to spoil the look of the whole tree too right I'm going to take this piece out yeah that was a good move you can see there was Three branches coming out at one point there, and it's just going to look terrible very quickly. Let's check my other branches. Not too many coming out one place. Uh, 
um, there's two, there's like three coming here, there's the main stem plus two more, and I need to get rid of one of them, so I'll take the back one out, cleans it a little bit bald, but not too bad, and it goes that way, so they always look a bit bashed around when you've just finished, and then they, their leaves kind of reset, and they settle in again, and look fine again in a, in a week, right, big one out here it comes off um, yeah I'll bring it down a little bit doesn't need much Long way out, might be a bit too far really. So we'll see. Might come back to this one. Done. Catch you next time.